For a positive integer x, let fx be the last two digit of x. We want to find n goes from 1 to 2019, f of 7 to the power 7 to the power n. Let's do it. So fx is equal to last two digit of x, that is when positive number x is divided by 100, fx is equal to remainder. Let's take an example. Say we want fx for x equal to 173. What is the last two digit? It is 73. That is the remainder when x is divided by 100. 100 into 1 is 100. 100 minus 100 is 0 and so the remainder is 73. So we want to find the remainder when 7 to the power 7 to the power n is divided by 100. Observe that 7 is congruent to 7 mod 100. So the remainder when 7 is divided by 100 is just 7. What about 7 square? That's again congruent to 49 mod 100. Nothing great about it, just writing. Now what about 7 cube? 7 cube is 3, 4, 3 and that's, okay, let's write it first. 7 cube is 3, 4, 3 mod 100. That's nothing great. But observe that now we can say that 7 cube is congruent to 43 mod 100. In other words, if you divide 7 cube by 100, you will get remainder equal to 43. Now, by theory of congruence is that you can multiply by 7 on both sides. So, we got 7 cube is congruent to 43 mod 100. Let's multiply by 7 on both sides. So, 7 into 7 cube is congruent to 7 into 43. How much is that 7 into 43? But 7 into 43 is equal to 301. 7 into 7 cube is 7 to the power 4. So 7 to the power 4 is congruent to 301 mod 100. But you see that 301 leaves the remainder just 1. So we can say that 7 to the power 4 is congruent to 1 mod 100. In other words, if you divide 7 to the power 4, by 100 you get the remainder 1 or last two digit of 7 to the power 4 is just 1. So far so good. So once again 7 to the power 4 leaves the remainder 1 when divided by 100. But we want 7 to the power 7 to the power n. So what we do is let's raise this 7 to the power 4 equal to 1 to the kth power. That means we want to take kth power. Kth power and then kth power. You see that 1 to the power k is simply equal to 1 and by law of indices 7 to the power 4 to the power k is simply equal to 7 to the power 4 k. Oh, we got something good. Mod 100 as it is. So we can say that 7 to the power 4 k leaves the remainder 1 for k equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. But once again we want 7 to the power 7 to the power n. 7 to the power 7 to the power n. And we got 7 to the power 4 k is congruent to 1. 7 to the power 4 times k. What is the opposite of 4 times? It's divide. So let us divide 7 to the power n by 4. So instead of finding 7 to the power n, the remainder when 7 to the power n is divided by 4, first we observe that if we divide 7 by 4, we get the remainder 3. Further, we can write 7 is congruent to minus 1 mod 4. So we don't talk of negative remainder, but in incongruences, a and b can be integer and minus 1 is an integer. And we can now raise it to the power n. So raising above congruence to the power n, 7 to the power n 
is congruent to minus 1 to the power n. But you see, we were talking about remainders and minus 1 to the power n can be negative. So, let us add 4 to both sides and say that 7 to the power n, not both sides, just to right hand side, is congruent to minus 1 to the power n plus 4 mod 4. Okay, so I know the remainder when 7 to the power n is divided by 4. It is either 3 or 1. When is it that it is 3 and when is it that it is 1? When n is even, when n is even, 7 to the power n leaves the remainder 1. When n is odd, 7 to the power n leaves the remainder 3. So, we know what is the remainder when 7 to the power n is divided by 4. Further from here, we can write that 7 to the power n equal to minus 1 to the power n plus 4 plus 4 times k. Okay, remainder, if you if you okay, uh, your divisor is 4, divisor into quotient plus remainder gives you dividend. So, 4 into k be the quotient. Observe that k has to be positive integer. So, 7 to the power 7 to the power n can be written as 7 to the power 4k plus 4 plus minus 1 to the power n equal to 7 to the power 4k into 7 to the power 4 plus minus 1 to the power n. Again, by theory of congruence, since 7 to the power 4k is congruent to 1 mod 100, you see, we have observed earlier that 7 to the power 4k is congruent to 1 mod 100, irrespective of number k, be it 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and so on. Now, further we have observed recently that 7 to the power n is equal to minus 1 to, 1 to the power n plus 4 plus 4 times k for some k depending on n. Therefore, 7 to the power 7 to the power n is equal to 7 to the power 4k into 7 to the power 4 plus minus 1 to the power n. Therefore, we can write 7 to the power 7 to the power n is simply congruent to 7 to the power 4k is just 1 into 1 into 7 to the power 4 plus minus 1 to the power n 7 to the power 4 plus minus 1 to the power n mod 100. You see, so we are almost done. If n is even, now we look at the even and odd case. If n is even, 7 to the power, 7 to the power n is congruent to 7 to the power 4 into 7 mod 100. And 7 to the power 4 is just 1. So, 7 to the power 7 to the power n is congruent to 7 mod 100. In other words, if n is even, then 7 to the power 7 to the power n leaves the remainder 7 when divided by 100. Therefore, f of 7 to the power 7 to the power n is exactly equal to 7 for even n even positive integer n. So, let us just write even n Okay, and then let us write n equal to 2, 4, 6 and so on. What if n is odd? If n is odd, you see 7 to the power 7 to the power n is congruent to 7 to the power 4 plus minus 1 to the power n mod 100. If n is odd, then this is minus 1 to the power n is simply minus 1. So, 7 cube, 7 to the power n, 7 to the power 7 to the power n is congruent to 7 cube mod 100 and 7 cube we have already seen that it is 3, 4, 3 and so 7 to the power 7 to the power n is congruent to 43 mod 100. 
Therefore, f of 7 to the power 7 to the power n is exactly equal to 43 if n is odd. Therefore, if n is odd 7 to the power 7 to the power n is exactly equal to 43, if n is even 7 to the power 7 to the power n is exactly equal to 7. So, we just want to compute n goes from 1 to uh, 2019 f of 7 to the power 7 to the power n and that is equal to if n is even. So, 2468 up to uh, 2018. So, if n is even it is 7 but how many times 7 occurs? 2018 by 2 that is 1009. So, 7 into 1009 plus if n is odd then this quantity is uh, just 43, 43 into 2019 plus on 2020, 2020 divided by 2 is 1010. Let us sum it up and get the answer and that is equal to 50493 and we are done.